friends, Doug Karsh at Yost Ice Arena, and this is Inside Michigan Hockey. The Wolverines coming off a series at Northern Michigan. Friday night, exciting, come from behind, 4-4 overtime game that saw the Wolverines get the extra point with the shootout win. Saturday, Wolverines tried to come from behind again, not successful. We'll have more on that series later when we talk with Michigan head coach Red Berenson. But this week, the Wolverines preparing for a series with Michigan State. Spartans here at the Old Barn on Friday night before they head up to East Lansing for Saturday night's game. A couple of seniors lead the way for the Wolverines in this series against the Spartans. Kevin Lynch, who has eight points, four goals, and four assists in his career against MSU. A.J. Trias has been hot this season. He has six career goals against the Spartans. Growing up, uh, you know, it's always a Michigan-Michigan State rivalry. That's all you grow up hearing about, um, especially when I decided to come to here. I knew that, you know, Michigan State, I was going to have to, you know, hate them. And uh, I, don't know, I just uh, get up for every game against them, and it's, uh, it's a fun rivalry. But it's not hate. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's fun. I mean, we know a lot of guys from Michigan uh, State's hockey team, and um, we're we're friends with them. But you know, get on the ice against them, it's uh, it's uh, it might be a little bit of hatred rivalry. Will it be some communication from you to the freshmen this week about how big a series this um, is against this team from you know East Lansing? I think they know. Um, they've kind of instilled that in their mind. You know, this rivalry and how much you know we hate Michigan State, and uh, you know how big these games are, and. You know how every hit, every goal, every mistake is amplified in this setting. And, uh, you know, a lot of us have friends on the other team, but, you know, my best friend plays on Michigan State, but, you know, if he's going through the middle with his head down, you know, I'll step up on him and I'll take him out. So that's kind of what this rivalry is about. And, you know. But the word hate is, you don't hate your best friend. Um, yeah, you know, it's different. You know, when we're on the ice, you know, we're not friends. And, um, you know, obviously, you know, this is like our Michigan-Ohio State football, so. You know, it's a big deal. I don't hate a lot of things, but uh, this might be one of the things I hate, and I'm sure after this weekend and we'll see how, how everything goes, because I'm not really sure what to expect, but I'm sure the upperclassmen will kind of tell us what, what we're doing out there as all the freshmen, and I'm sure by the end of this weekend we'll hate them. And we're joined by the head coach of the Wolverines, Red Berenson, and before we get into Michigan State, let's look back to last weekend and start with Friday night. How do you fall behind 4-1? Well, we had a good first period, Doug, and uh, we were up one nothing. And they, in the second period, they scored an early power play goal, and uh, then they scored a face-off goal, and then two more penalties, and you know, three power play goals against in the second period, and we found ourselves in a four-one hole. You get back, you make it four-three, and then late in the game, Truba takes a five-minute major on a hit. Your thoughts on the hit, and then here you are down a goal, and you got five minutes and 17 seconds to go, and you got to kill a five-minute major. Well, that's right. I mean, we we got uh, we got two goals back, and then we get a five-minute major, and the hit was a, you know, it, it, it was a clean hit uh, five years ago, but now it's contact to the head, and uh, that's a five-minute major, and so. Uh, he got a, a five-minute major and a DQ. So yeah, we had to serve a penalty for five minutes, and uh, and then, and then we had to try and tie up the game. And uh, fortunately, we got the goalie out with a minute left, and sure enough, AJ Trios uh, scores the tying goal with less than one second left. So there was a little bit of drama there. Take us through the last few seconds of that game. What you're seeing as a coach. Well, we got the right guys on the ice. You know, we thought we got some uh, some offensive forwards because we've been killing penalties for, you know, the last four minutes. And so we had A.J. out there and we got Guptill out there and and uh, so on. So we got some offensive players out there and then and we had a couple of good cracks at it, but nothing. And then all of a sudden we got a rebound and A.J. was right there and uh, back door. So that was huge. So I, and I wasn't surprised. I mean, we were we were good enough to do it, but we just weren't doing it well you got overtime scoreless in overtime then you win in the shootout again aj trius once again comes through for you now what coaching do you do for a shootout well we don't do a lot we but we have to select the shooters who do we think has the best chance of scoring in this game and you know we haven't had a lot of experience in shootouts at michigan the league just ado adopted it about four years ago and i don't think we've had more than four or five shootouts in all that time but nevertheless, AJ's our leading scorer. He's having a good night. I mean, he's a natural. 
And uh, I thought Guptill would have a chance of scoring, and I thought Lindsey Sparks would have a chance. And, um, and they didn't. I mean, uh, A.J. looked like a goal scorer. Guptill and Sparks did not score. And that one goal held up. Uh, Racine made a save on their third shot that uh, gave you the, the extra points. So we got two points in that game, and we felt pretty good the way the game ended. With that said, you come out Saturday, and I'm sure you're talking about playing good defense, and you get another big deficit. Well, we didn't we didn't play well defensively, Doug. I can tell you, and that wasn't power plays. It was five on five hockey, and uh, just breakdowns defensively, and uh, sloppy goals against, and and we got scored on too easily. And sure enough, uh, we're down four to one after two periods. Well, you continue to get scoring out of Guptill and Trias, and that line. How do you feel about the way those two are playing together? Well, we're, uh, you know, we made that change. Uh, we took up to off of Lynch's line. We, we, in fact, we just switched centermen and, uh, for the third period, and, and we got going. And uh, so we, we got back in the game. But A.J. Is, is hot now. He can score, and he's got confidence, and he's playing like a captain. And Guptill is opportunistic, and he's finding a way to get shots. He's probably leading our team in shots on net right now. And uh, we expect that he'll score. But um, nevertheless, we get a lot of guys that have to play better with the puck and without the puck. Otherwise, uh, we're going to be fighting the same battle, Doug. Like, we're number one in the country offensively right now. But we're number 50 defensively. And what does that get you? That gets you a 500 team. And that's where we are right now. Well, coming into the season, you thought defense would be a strength. But then you've had injuries. You have Truba DQ'd. You're dressing a forward in the blue line and Jeff Roarkamper on Saturday. First of all, how did Roarkamper play? Roarkamper played well. Roarkamper came in. He'd never played defense in his life. I didn't even ask him. I just told him, you're going to play D. And I just think he's the kind of kid. He's a team player. He thinks defensive hockey. He's smart. And he went out there and he, and he played fine. He did not hurt us. And I know we, we miss Truba and we miss Johnny Merrill, but uh, we can play better defensively. Our forwards, our defensemen, and our goalies all have to pick up defensively. Is this unfortunately for you a hurry up and wait till Merrill gets back or until you have all your guys defensively dressing before you think you can play that kind of defense you expect? I think we can play uh, better than we're playing right now with the, sa with the same players. And certainly we miss Serville this weekend. He was out as well. And uh, so we were thin on defense, but it wasn't our defense that hurt us. It was our forwards and our goalies. All right, Racine, evaluate his weekend. Not good. Uh, too, you know, too many goals against. Too many goals that he can save. Like, he's a good goalie, Doug, but uh, he's got to make those saves on those easy goals. All right, let's talk about Michigan State. You mentioned how good you are offensively. They're a team that's averaging two and a half goals a game. It's, they're not putting in the puck like, than, than that like you are. Well, I, I wouldn't uh, put our stats on the line this week against State. Uh, I, I think we've got to play a lot better than we're playing, and hopefully this will bring it, out, bring it out of us, and I'm sure they will as well. So, uh, I mean, here's two teams still trying to find themselves early in the year, but this is a rivalry weekend, a huge weekend. We have to play better. You feel like your depth guy's got to step up and score a little bit more for you because that was something that happened earlier in the year, maybe not as much as late. Well, I think it's our, we, we've got some scoring balance, and, uh, but we don't have the balance right now. Uh, you know, we've got two or three guys scoring. We've got guys with no goals, you know, that are supposed to be able to score. So I, I think we've got a lot of guys have to step up. But, but Doug, scoring will, will come when you're playing better defensively. And if you're trying too hard to score, you're going to be a minus player and you're going to be hurting the team. And that's what we're getting right now. Coach, best of luck. Yep. Thanks, Doug. And that's going to do it for this week's edition of Inside Michigan Hockey. Coming up on next week's program, of course, we'll take a look back at the series with Michigan State and then preview another big early season series as Notre Dame comes to town for games next Thursday and Friday. We'll preview the series with the Fighting Irish next week here on Inside Michigan Hockey. We'll see you then.